It's a lovely day at TCIS and welcome to the Wednesday show. I'm Jade and here are your weekly announcements for Wednesday, March 22nd. The Taiwan Pop Music Singing Contest is coming soon and students from Taiwan and Thailand are welcome to sign up from March 20th to the 25th. For more information, please scan the QR code to learn more. The fundraising challenge to raise money for the earthquake victims in Turkey is still ongoing. So make sure to contribute some money to earn your grade, some goodwill, and some non-uniform days as well. Talking about non-uniform days, today is the third day of Spirit Week. Make sure to dress as the first letter of your name tomorrow and to also prepare for your performances for Friday. In contrast to the traditional Spirit Week activities, our school is adopting a new method to prepare students for their AP exams. We'll go to Theo who'll discuss more about the upcoming mock AP exams. At the start of the year, there has been some new changes to the schedule. At the end of March, all students are required to take an AP mock exam. We'll be hearing more from Ms. Jasmine. What is AP mock exam? Uh, AP mock exams are an opportunity for students to get practice with not just the exam content, but the actual process of an AP exam. So not just are you answering the same kind of questions, but you're going to come in and sit in a room that's set up the same way. You're going to hear all of the instructions the same way that they'll be presented on AP exam day. So not just does it help you to prepare for the content, it also helps you to feel more comfortable with the process. Um, AP mock exams are new this year in a school-wide format. Many teachers in the past have given practice exams to help their students, but we really want everyone to be prepared for the way that the exams are presented, not just the question types. I think it's a good idea. I would have done it in class by myself, even if we didn't have it next week. But it would have been in class in two parts instead of the schedule that we have next week. So it's a good idea to know the exam format and to get the feel of an AP exam, how much time you have and how fast you need to write all the questions. But this year, I feel like they had the exams too early. Like, why are there more exams at the end of March? kind of thing because I feel like we have an entire April like that's in between so I feel like the mock exam should be like in April not in March. Good luck to all students that are taking the AP mock exam. I'm Theo reporting for the WTV. So don't forget to study for your mock exams as your grades are on the line. These mock exams may be stressing a lot of students out but let's see how one student has been relieving her stress and benefiting from it at the same time. Now I'm here with Cheryl to talk about her passion in art and how she analyzed it to earn money. Well, the first time when I started doing art was a long time ago when my uh, sister introduced me to drawing mermaids and I really liked it. So I've been drawing every single day since lower school. I started doing commission for like free in like a game community and I thought that I should start getting paid from doing it. So I opened my commission internationally and I got some customers and it has been really fun. So I have a website and I update my, uh, I update if when I'm, when I update when my commissions open and my, I have I have my socials linked on my website and it's linked to my Instagram, Twitter, so they can contact me from there. Um, my commission is currently closed because of schoolwork and I only open it like during breaks and stuff. I'm Chichi reporting at size from WTV. It's fantastic to see someone so devoted to their craft that even other people want a taste of it. It's clear to see that Cherry has a special relationship with art. A few weeks ago, we heard from a few students what they would consider a red flag in relationships. So let's take a look at what TCI students would consider a green flag today. Hello everybody. Today, we're going to be finding out what people look for in their relationships. Who am I here with? Nini. Eric. Samai. Calvin. Hello, Calvin. What is your green flag? 
uh, don't play TikTok, don't smoke, and being honest. And he's nice to social workers or just wait waitresses and waiters in general. In my opinion, the biggest green flag is uh, when she can cook because that means she has responsibility, you know. Uh, anything that is not laid back. <laughs> Thanks. If you have any announcements to make, make sure to submit them on the WTV Google form. That's all the announcements for today. See you next week on WTV.